The show obviously can't be on YouTube because Ian said people have died from the C-19 thing, and Hannah Claire followed up with the that V thing wasn't safe. Yesterday, Wednesday, May 8th, Tim cast IRL. Tim made the decision to pull the show. And I have the full transcript of the uncensored version. Go to TimCast.com, support him. Middle Mag. Probably doing like Zoom stuff. The, the flying guests out is, is, is really expensive. It can be like tens of thousands of dollars. We, that's why often you'll see, you know, we have like DC commentators because it keeps the budget down. So it's, uh, it's expensive. And, um, we're trying to expand in meaningful ways. Which means our budget gets strained. Uh, or we could simply stop everything, focus just on doing the show, and then we have a minor surplus to try and build up money, but then we also want to do like marketing, and we want the show to succeed and grow and have a positive impact. It is, it is very difficult. So what happens today is, here's what I try to do. Before the show, we usually say two things. No allusions to violence and don't say that V-things unlive people. Those are the things that YouTube will instantly ban you for. Nothing we can do about it. Michael Jones, Michael Jones, Michael... <laughs> Try to say Michael Malice. Well, Michael Malice, Alex Jones episode from three years ago just got taken down and the reason they said it got taken down is because someone said that mRNA that V-things send a signal to your cells which reprogrammed the DNA so that it will produce spike proteins. Sorry, it was mRNA. It was the RNA that gets changed, not the DNA. And for that, minor error, they deleted the episode. If you do it again, they said, we are, we're gonna... That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Do you know how many videos are up right now on YouTube with all kinds of errors in them? From the mainstream, corporate media and all that. And this is what we're settling for. You think voting for president's going to fix our country or fix this? And by the way, the one that a lot of people are trying to vote for for president is just, just couldn't be worse on this topic, pretty much. Nah, we're going to shut you down. To say on the show that people have died from the that V thing, that that V things aren't safe, that that V things cause harm all that stuff was like probably seven perma bans in the span of 10 minutes so here are our options. We've got people screaming in chat saying stop being a pussy and just do it. I'm like, oh dude. Okay. I'll tell you what fine will get instantly banned. We the show will not exist on YouTube ever again Rumble can't afford to make the show operate there's no interest from anyone else to make the show operate. Fingers crossed that if we do get banned, the iTunes and Spotify version of the show pick up. That could be cool. Um, and then we fire half the company and just go back to running IRL as it is and, you know, just shrink everything down. My projection, if that's the case, is that what will happen is every month we'll operate at a small loss until eventually we can't operate the show anymore, and then the show ceases to exist. So it really doesn't make sense to do it that way. In the current iteration, we have a, we have a marginal net positive every month, which we then allocate towards some kind of expansion or project. Now, for most of the stuff we're doing, uh, outside of IRL, it is money that is separate from IRL itself. IRL is extremely expensive and, uh, I would say that what makes us the most money is the memberships. Then, uh, we do probably like one. Five million on the show on YouTube and ads. Rumble can't accommodate that. And without that, we're at a net negative. The memberships don't cover the total cost of travel, accommodation, staff, etc. Not to mention one of the biggest challenge and taxes don't give me real, like taxes are huge. And so you have the taxes, but then you also have security too. So it's a lot. Security is very expensive. And then the one challenge we have too is inflation and employee costs. Mm. So every year with this nightmarish bite inflation, we have employees who are like, it's getting harder and harder. I need more money. And it's like, well, we have to increase the cost of memberships. Then if we do that, we could lose members. If we lose members, we might put ourselves in a net loss. So all we can really do is keep shaving thinner and thinner and thinner. If we get banned, uh, then there's no show. So the alternative is, delete the episode, shut it down, and that's it. Then- If, if we're looking at immigration and inflation and all these other topics, there's no topic more important than the First Amendment. And it's not just because I'm on these platforms trying to talk to. It's just the most important thing. You can't handle any other issue in the country without taking care of this. We must have First Amendment protection on these platforms. That includes, that includes uh, even from like boosting. Like you can't have a situation where X says, if you pay this, you get boosted. If you subscribe to this person and, and reply on it, you get boosted. No, that's that's a violation. That's a freedom of speech, but not reach. What's the point of that? people get mad and there's nothing we can really do about it. I, uh, uh, that's, that's the general, uh, position we're in right now. 
I suppose what I could say is, dealing with the lawsuits, dealing with the, uh, uh, issue of censorship, the threat to revenue streams and the difficulties in expansion and the overall mission. I'd say it'd be a lot easier for me just to do a morning show and stop working 16-hour days. Because the- Absolutely. That's what, I mean, he's probably like, damn, I probably would have never even done this. Well, yeah. Because now I'm, now my face is on the J6 committee. I'm getting hit pieces beyond belief. He still would have got the hit, hit pieces, but not like this. You come in and you platform MAGA, they're going straight. Peter Navarro's in jail right now. They're going straight after these people. You platform Alex Jones. They they did a lawsuit for $1.4 billion. An FBI agent who Alex Jones never said his name got money from Alex Jones in that that. They're not playing around. The FBI setting up Donald Trump. They, who knows what they're going to set up for, for Tim or anybody else. YouTube revenue for my morning show pays my salary. I get a salary. My morning show covers that salary plus a little bit extra. That little bit extra just goes back into the company. That's pretty neat. Last year, there was profit from the company and that does roll over to me. I don't. I thought that's not the case. But, uh, you know, these past few months, I think last month we were at 100, 000 net loss. Damn. Uh, you know, these things happen. And Damn, so he lost 100,000 last month. Damn. Last month, I think, was a good, for most creators, was a decent month. This month is a lot lower. I don't, I don't know how he lost 100,000 last month. Did he, did he do something on site or something or a plane trip or something? I don't know. And then we look for in other months, we're like, we're gonna, we're gonna be a little bit more lean here. And then we're going to, uh, you know, cut costs here. So can you imagine doing your YouTube channel? Like you gotta talk about these topics like you know these topics. You slip up a little bit, you've got people in their basement like myself who go hard, like you slipped up again, you went up against the Groypers and I'm still heated about that. It's a bad take. Very, very upset with that take. But you got to deal with all this stuff and you've got to have solid takes and you got an MMA fighter basically talking trash to you and the biggest person in alt media right now, Nick, talking trash on you. It's just, it, and you got all these different issues in the country. That's why he had to, I mean, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. And then some months we'll see a really great surplus. We'll see like one month might be minus a hundred because let's say we booked two, two or three people oh, from Europe wow. and it's seven, zero, zero, zero round trip. Damn. If we want to so he, yeah, because he just had his Elijah Schaefer on. Elijah Schaefer came from Australia. Damn. So he's bringing on people from, I didn't even think about that. The international travel is first business class, I think, first class too. Damn. He, I mean, he can write it all off. Don't, I'm not crying, shedding tears for him, but this is, I mean, what, what will happen is writing it off isn't enough and you have to cut costs have them on the show and we do uh and then some some months will be like let's let's see if we can get some more like dc commentators so we can get a month with like you know cheaper costs and then it's like a hundred two hundred instead of seven or eight zero 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 so you know that's 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 basically where we're at and uh this is why the the show gets taken down and you see how respectful that answer was he never went at the and i don't want to go after my you know viewers or the fans of your show if you're as big as tim but I, I, you have to go straight up and just, you have to talk to these people like they're grown adults. I know they don't understand business, obviously, but you can't be complaining about the show being taken down and not getting notified when I'm on a stream right now notifying the hardcore fans of the show. Middle MAGA. 